Hello. It's good to see you. Today we have a, this is Kinder. Okay, the name of this company is Kinder Beauty. But when I see it, my brain always says Kinder Beauty. So I, a while back, if you haven't been watching these videos, a while back I just dubbed it Kinder Beauty. We now could just call it Kinder Beauty because my brain refuses to see Kinder. But this, this subscription box is, um, it's actually really cool. They, they provide, um, ethical, sustainable, recyclable, gentle, cruelty-free products. Like a wide variety of things. And each box has different stuff in it. And I've, um, done several of these boxes. I'm just, I am a regular subscriber to this box. So they don't pay me or compensate me or any way or anything. Um, so that way I give you my honest opinion of the products in, in these boxes. And I have a little confession to make about this one. <laughs> this video, I, um, I was recording a video of looking at the products and I, I got about 10 minutes into it. And then I realized that the recording was not, it wasn't recording. So... I have already opened it and looked at some of this stuff. So, but I'm going to have to start over because the recording was messed up. So I do, I do apologize for that. But I'm just going to start over and hopefully this one will, will work the way it's supposed to. I don't know what happened. It was weird. But I'm going to go ahead and open this box up and we will take a look at the, the products. Okay. Now we do have some products in here that we have not seen before. This is called the Rise Box, and we'll take a look at that after the products. Now the first thing we have in here, this is a little kit from Three Ships, and we have received some facial cleanser in these boxes before from this company. And I like the facial cleanser. The only thing I don't like about it is it's extremely um, watery and it's kind of hard to get it out of the tube without it going everywhere because it's like the, it's like water. It's a nice cleanser, but it's kind of hard to work with in a tube. But I do like it and I, I was not familiar with this company before I started getting these boxes. And I really enjoy the cleanser. And this is a little lip treatment kit that hydrates and exfoliates. And I did try this before I realized that the recording was messed up. This, um, this kit from Three Ships, it contains a vanilla lip exfoliator. This triple action scrub exfoliates and conditions lips. Fine sugar crystals remove dry skin and flakes and make lips look plump and full while natural shea butter and oils hydrate and soothe. The scrub contains zero artificial colors and is naturally flavored with vanilla. Um, and I did try this. And it says on here that you should use a pea size amount, but you really don't need that much. We also have the Buttercream Hydrating Lip Mask. Um, natural oils of sunflower, coconut, and avocado deeply replenish moisture to dry lips. Use overnight for extra soft lips when you wake up. And again, it says you should use a pea-sized amount, but I discovered you don't need anywhere near that much. Just a little bit on your fingertip is plenty. If you really do, a pea-sized amount would be way too much. But I'm going to take these out of the, the little box. I want to show it to you. It's, it's surprisingly heavy because these two products are in gl little glass containers. So yeah, I, I'm, I do apologize. I hate that the video messed up. Um, I do have a new laptop. I just haven't, I haven't set it up yet. And I know I need to do that. I just haven't done it. So you have the first step, which is the vanilla lip exfoliator. 
and so I did try this at first of all oh it smells so good I mean you can definitely smell the vanilla in it it smells like it smells like a cake it smells like cake batter it smells really good I want to eat it it smells delicious now I did use the exfoliator the only thing I didn't like about it though was that okay so you have granulated it's like sugar granules in here they were a little rough we did try a lip exfoliator in another box recently and the sugar crystals were smaller they were finer so it wasn't quite as harsh you know I just couldn't I didn't scrub very hard because it was a little rough but not it wasn't bad not bad at all I've definitely tried other lip exfoliators that were pretty harsh and I didn't like them so I do love the smell and it, it does leave your lips nice and soft it's a nice little product and I will I will use it again for sure and then we have for, uh, the second step is this buttercream hydrating lip mask and it said you can leave it on overnight and that's probably the way I will use this it's like a it's like a balm it's like a little thing of Carmex and it's in this frosted glass here um, it's it's you definitely don't need a pea size amount you just get get like a little bit on your finger and it's um I still have some on my lips it leaves your lips feeling so soft and probably what I will do with this product it said you can do this scrub I think it said two or three times a week or something like that and it said you could put this on overnight to you know wake up with nice moisturized lips so I would probably use this overnight it's um it's a little oily I don't know if I would like it during the day plus you know during the day I use my CO Bigelow cinnamon menthol lip shine which they are making again by the way if you like the menthol lip shine you know they had the menthol lip the lip tint but the lip shine they stopped making it they have started making it again so you can get it again so it's very exciting but I would definitely I'm definitely going to try using this lip mask overnight it's buttercream and it smells really good I think the lip exfoliator smells the best but that's it smells good too it together it smells like you're baking a cake or something they smell delicious I, I really like them and I, I'm coming around on the whole lip exfoliator thing um, I guess because the first the, the only other ones I tried were really rough kind of they, they were too abrasive and I didn't like them this one is really gentle it's it's not as gentle as the other one I tried but it's it's not bad at all so this is our little kit our lip treatment kit from three ships so yeah I'll definitely use those okay and the next product is plant-based it has plant-based ingredients BASD I don't know what that stands for this is a refreshing body lotion with citrus grapefruit get it on and this <laughs> I said this sounds like Carl wrote this it says get it on get naked rub on to skin clothing is optional for the rest of the day repeat daily or as needed nothing to hide what is in this it has a bunch of like herbal stuff in it, it has um sunflower seed oil seed oil alcohol it has um several different types of oils in it I tried this on my hand and it actually feels really good it's been on there now for a little bit and it actually feels wow it's actually really soft okay I may change my mind about this <laughs> so what I did was I took a little bit of this and I just put it on the back of my hand my initial impression was that I didn't it, it feels it almost feels waxy like it's not it doesn't feel greasy it just feels waxy and I wasn't crazy about it at first but it has actually been on my hand now for I don't know 20 minutes not well 15 minutes maybe 
and that waxy feeling is gone. It's, it's not. I don't feel it anymore. It actually feels really soft. Okay, I may have to change my mind about this product. But when I first put it on, and on my hands too, it just felt, it felt like I had wax, it felt like I had wax on my hand and my, my fingers, and I didn't like it. I, I really didn't like it, but actually it's, the waxy feeling is gone, and now it just feels soft. I'm def, I'm going to try that out. But yeah, I didn't like the way it felt at first, but... Okay, maybe it's a good thing that I did have to start over because I initially said I didn't really like this product. Um, I, was it this? No. No, this, um, it has a light scent to it. It has a light scent. It's almost like a lemony smell. It's like a combination of lemony and, I don't know how to describe it. If you've ever, um, if you've ever smelled broom straw when it's been out in the summer sun and it's nice and warm, it almost smells like a bale of hay, but not quite as strong. It smells like that combined with a little bit of lemon. It's a, a neat, it kind of, to me, it smells like cleaning day on a, in the summertime, like I get up on a Saturday morning and my mom wants to do cleaning and she has all the cleaning stuff out and she has lemon scented cleaner. It kind of smells like that with broom straw. But it fades like it doesn't really smell like anything now it's very faint you can't really smell it anymore so I changed my mind about that BASD and I don't know what that stands for it says it was made in Canada I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna do a little reading on that and see what I can find out about it but this refreshing body lotion is nice it's kind it's not super thick but after it sort of soaks in, it just felt waxy, but not anymore. Okay, and I was really happy to see that I had another Earth Harbor product. Um, I really, one of my favorite moisturizers for my face is Earth Harbor Mermaid Milk. I use it every night, and it's not super expensive, and a little jar of it for me lasts like two months at least. I think it's maybe $20 on Amazon. It's a wonderful moisturizer. Oh my goodness. And it's from Earth Harbor. It's called Mermaid Milk. It is wonderful. I love it. I use it myself every night. Now this product from Earth Harbor, this is Sunstone. It is a hair revive elixir. Um, and I did... <laughs> I did a whole monologue about this elixir and it recorded none of it. <laughs> kind of bummed about that. I went on a rant about hair stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to read this to you. Fortify, nourish, and revive dull or damaged hair using superfood nutrition of seaweed and coconuts, anti-pollution properties of jasmine and calendula flowers, an ultra reju rejuvenation of carrot seed and jojoba oils. When massaged into your scalp, sunstone promotes a flow of positive energy to hair follicles. And I wondered if it like lights up. Does it glow in the dark or something? She is the perfect herbal tonic for tackling dry scalp, scraggly ends, and worn strands. A ray of sunshine in your hair care ritual that was created with all hair types in mind. The ritual. Smooth 5 to 15 generous drops over hair ends and strands. Keep in for as long as needed, for at least 10 minutes before washing out. For extra benefit, leave in. Scalp treatment. Massage 5 to 10 drops at the roots for 3 minutes. Leave in or wash out. Use 3 to 4 times weekly. And the thing I said was, if I'm being realistic, and I, I say this every time I read any any product like this that says leave in for 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes, like, it's not going to happen. <laughs> because, I, you know, I, and I, you're probably the same way. When I take a shower, I have a, like, I do things in a certain order. And I don't want to throw it off. And stuff like this, I would always do at the end. I don't like doing, I don't do my hair at first. I don't wash my hair when I first get in there. 
that's like the last thing I do. And I, I like doing it that way and I don't want to change it. I don't want to stand there for 10 minutes waiting for this to work its magic or whatever. So even though it tells you to wait 10 minutes, I never do. I'll wait like three minutes tops and then I rinse it out. And any product that tells me, you know, put it in and leave it in for an hour, even a half hour, it's not going to happen. Like I'm not getting out of that shower and then getting back in it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Once I get out of that shower, I'm out. I'm not getting back in it. No, I'm going to dry off and get dressed and go on with my day. I, 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 I don't know. I just don't do it. But uh, let me pop this open and show it to you. First, it has that lovely light blue inside. It's a little glass bottle. And it looks like either messed up honey or a messed up urine sample or apple juice <laughs> um okay so this is sunstone hair revive elixir it doesn't really have a strong smell it almost smells like a cough drop or something but it's oh you know what that smells like that smells like a luden's cherry cough drop. It smells like Luden. Remember those? The Luden's cherry cough drops? You know, when we were kids, we ate them like candy. <laughs> and if we would sick, the, the adults would let us have some. But it was like eating candy. It smells like a Luden's cherry cough drop. I like that. So I will try this. Actually, I'm going to try this tonight because when I get done, um, I'm going to take a shower and wash my hair. I'm going to try this, but it's not staying on anything for 10 minutes because I will not, I will try my best to follow the instructions. <laughs> like, I will put it on the ends of my hair or something. It's That it said you only had to do for three minutes. Now I might be able to do that. And I don't like to do my hair when I first get in the shower because like I said, I have, you know, I do everything in a certain order. And if the order of my shower gets interrupted or swapped around, like, at the end of the shower, I feel like I'm cheated. I've been cheated out of something, or maybe I forgot to do something. It's just a weird, it's a whole thing. So three minutes, maybe I could do, but I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm, I'm curious because like I said, I like Earth Harbor's products. So I'm definitely interested in trying this hair reviving serum that they've come up with because I love their mermaid milk. Oh my gosh, that mermaid milk um, moisturizer is awesome. I, I know I keep talking about it, but it's, I love it. I love it. Okay. Now this product, I did open this, um, and it took a lot of effort. It was really hard to open. This is a paperboard package. This is J&L Naturals Ethical Essentials Face Salve Shine. The whole purpose of this face salve is to make you shiny. It literally says shine right there on it. Um, what does it have in it? Let's see. And it was made in North Carolina, which is cool. This product is vegan, preservative free, cruelty free, and sustainable. It contains shea butter, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, can candelilla wax, extra virgin olive oil, papaya seed oil, organic argan oil, rose geranium essential oil, and lavender essential oil. And this product was made in Mooresville, North Carolina by J&L Naturals. So I opened it up and I don't really like the smell of it because it smells like patchouli or something. The smell kind of puts me off a little bit. It's kind of strong. Um, and I put some here on this hand. And it's just a salve. Like, it's just a little salve. You just kind of, I don't know, rub your finger on it. See? Shiny finger. Shiny hand. And I, I, I went on a whole rant about that, too. The fact that all these beauty boxes want to make me shiny. And I know not everybody's going to agree with me, but I'm going to say it anyway. I have had oily skin 
since I was 10 years old. I have had oily skin for over 38 years. And uh, my skin, if I can just exist until about lunchtime every day without doing anything, my face will look just like that right there. It develops a nice little shine to it because my skin is oily. If the whole purpose of this salve is to make it shiny, all I have to do is just exist until about 12 o'clock. And it looks like that. I don't have to do a thing. I don't have to do jack squat and my face is shiny like that. Now I understand you little whippersnappers today think it's awesome to be dewy or shine. This literally says shine. You whippersnappers want to be dewy or whatever. Honey, I've been dewy since before you existed. <laughs> Most of y'all. No, I, I'm not interested in being shiny, so I didn't really like the smell of this product. It's, it's a strong, like, it smells like a street festival. It smells like patchouli, and I don't I don't like the way it smells and it's strong and I don't need anything I don't need to add anything to me to make me look like that I just need for a little bit of time to pass and it's gonna look like that even now my skin is still like it gets like that not it's not as bad as it was when I was younger but it still does it some it has gotten a little better but it was it was really bad when I was young okay so this product I will probably not use, but I will pass it on. It will get a good home. Don't worry. Everything I don't use, I always find somebody to give it to. So don't don't worry. Nothing's gonna get wasted. Now I do have one more I have one more thing. Now this is the only product I did not get to. So I don't know about this one. This is blueberry cranberry facial scrub. This is from 103 Collection. Now, I, I, I will tell you, I don't really use a lot of stuff like facial scrubs. Um, mainly because to me, a lot of them are just too harsh. Like, I don't like them. They feel... They, oops. Spilled some. They just feel harsh. Ooh, it's, it's like jello. Look at it. It's spongy. It smells like mud. It smells like a mud puddle. Ooh, I was expecting something pleasant. I mean, it's blueberry cranberry. I thought it was going to smell nice. It's, oh God, it stinks. Maybe it's gone bad. <laughs> that stinks. Yuck. Well, let me, anyway, I'm just checking the consistency on this lid right here. Okay, it's not it's not too abrasive. It's it's a little bit abrasive, but I've definitely I've definitely tried scrubs that were worse. Um, I I don't I'm not putting it on my face right now. I'm just trying it right here. It feels like it has little bits of apricot hole in it or something. Um, it's not bad, but it oh it stinks to high heaven. Oh my. Let me, I, I, I'm clean, I'm trying to, let me go clean my hand off. Okay, I'll be honest with you, this stuff stinks. I'm putting the lid back on it. Um, if I can find it, let me show you what, what I use. Okay, I couldn't remember if I was out or not. I almost am. There's only a little bit left in here. I use this um, maybe every other day. To clean my face. I don't use it every day. I use it like every other day. This Murad Hydration AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. Instead of using stuff like this, I just every other day or so I use this product. Um, it's an intensive triple action exfoliator with a proprietary blend of salicylic, lactic, and glycolic acids that polish away dull, dry skin without irritation. Reveals smoother texture and a brighter, younger-looking complexion. 
and this tube, it, this thing here, oh my gosh, this thing has probably lasted me like three or four months because I don't use it every day. I use it like once every other day. And it has a very, very gentle exfoliator in it. It's super gentle. I love it. And when I use this, I don't, I don't feel like I need stuff like this. Like my, my skin is fine. I don't need an extra exfoliator. So it's like a cleanser and an exfoliator in one. And it is, it is kind of pricey, but again, um, I don't use it every day. I use it maybe every other day, every three day, two days, three days, you know, whatever. But yeah, one, a tube like this will last me three or four months easily. And I really like it. It's really, it's really great. It's very gentle. It's a nice cleanser. And it also does some exfoliating and it's, it's awesome. So, especially since I started using this, I don't really ever use stuff like that. Because I don't feel like I need it. But yeah, that, the Murad is, um, that's what I use for exfoliation. So, let's see here. These are our products for today. Okay. And now we can take a look at our little card, the Rise Box. What's in the Rise Box? Well, let's see. We have the Three Ships Lip Treatment Kit. This is a $30 value. Kiss dry lips goodbye with this kit that exfoliates and hydrates. The vanilla scented scrub gently lifts away dead skins while the delicious buttercream mask locks luscious moisture into your pucker. <laughs> Quite cool, okay. And then here we have the Earth Harbor Sunstone Hair Revive Elixir, which I'm going to try later. This is a $30 value. This silky superfood hair elixir delivers vital nutrients using seaweed and coconut, protects against pollution with jasmine and calendula flowers, and rejuvenates with carrot seed and jojoba oils. Nice. And then from JNL Naturals, we have the Face Salve Dash Shine. This is a $16.99 value. $16.99. Perfect for sensitive skin, this nourishing formula brightens and reduces hyperpigmentation and puffiness, all without clogging pores. Just a touch infuses dry skin with moisture and reduces excess oil, letting you rise and shine anytime. Okay. And then from 103 Collection, we have the Blueberry Cranberry Facial Scrub. And this is a $9.99 value. Perfect for sensitive skin. This nourishing formula brightens and reduces hyperpigmentation and puffiness, all without clogging pores. Why do I feel like they... Okay. It's the, they put the exact same thing for the scrub as they did for the salve. Well, which one is it for? This is the exa it's exactly the same. Just a touch infuses dry skin with moisture and reduces excess oil, letting you rise and shine anytime. I think that was supposed to be for the salve, but not for the scrub. Well, that's... Well, whichever company got cheated, I'd be mad about that because they just, that's the exact same thing there. They screwed up on that. I've never seen that happen before. Again, finally from, from BASD, we have the Citrus Grapefruit Body Lotion, which I actually liked and at first I thought I was not going to. This is a $3.99 value for this little one ounce tube. Treat your body to this long-lasting, deeply hydrating lotion that will be the perfect addition to your routine, bringing bright, citrusy notes to awaken all of your senses. And it does have a nice smell. I do like the scent. And it did leave me nice and soft. I look like I've been polished. I feel like a surfboard. Look how shiny I am. I'm just shiny. No matter what box it is, they're, they're not happy if they don't leave me shiny. That's the thing these days, you're supposed to be shiny for some reason. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see these little products today from Kinder Beauty. It's Kinder. I don't care what they say. It's Kinder Beauty as far as I'm concerned. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see these products today. I always enjoy looking at these products and enjoying them with you. Thank you again so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you again really soon.